I'm Eric Kane. That's Brent Hubs, VolQuest.com, and VolQuest on the YouTube channel. An exciting day for Tennessee via the transfer portal. Not one, not two, but three commits from the portal, beginning with wide receiver Dante Thornton of Oregon, defensive lineman Omar Norman Lott of Arizona State University, and then finally on Monday night, John Campbell, offensive tackle from Miami. Let's start with the offensive tackle. Um, the other two came earlier in the day, had to wait till the end of the night, Brent, but Tennessee gets a body at a position of need here for this offense. Well, it better be more than a body. And, and I think Tennessee's considering, you know, John Campbell to be more than a body, uh, Eric. I mean, you're, you're not going to replace Darnell Wright going one for one, right? You're not just pulling a plug and play a guy who's going to elevate up the NFL draft boards this offseason as he has all throughout the fall and just plug an immediate replacement in that's, you know, as good as Darnell Wright. There's going to be a drop-off at that position. But Tennessee doesn't have enough depth at the tackle spot. They need some competition at the tackle spot. Um, and they need somebody who can play right or left. Now, Campbell's been a left tackle. He's got experience. So that'll give John Mincy some – you know, or Gerald Mincy, excuse me, some competition over there. Uh, we'll see what they do on the right side. Maybe that's, uh, you know, J.J. Crawford. Maybe that's Dane Davis. But they need more bodies, but they need more playable bodies, not just a body to say we got a body. They need a guy there who can absolutely step in and play, and Campbell's got quite a bit of experience and obviously a good relationship with Joe Milton. You know, that was the one that we really didn't know about come Monday evening, but the other two had a good feeling. Wide receiver Dante Thornton of Oregon and Omar Norman Lott, defensive lineman of Arizona State. Both of those guys came on official visits, stayed through the weekend, whereas John Campbell left Friday morning. And Tennessee gets another wide receiver, continues to take wide receivers to the portal, and a defensive lineman to plug and play on the interior. Well, I think when you talk about you know the wide receiver position, one thing you know uh, about Josh Heupel and his offense is receivers are going to be productive. And I've talked about this for a couple of weeks. If you're a slot receiver or have the ability to play the slot receiver position, why in the world are you not looking at Tennessee because of what they've done at that position with different types of players? Valus Jones, Jalen Hyatt, two different players, two highly productive players. And then obviously your guys on the outside have been productive as well. And, and I think for Thornton, that's what it boiled down to. I think he watched this offense play and went, you know what? I'd love to play in that system. I like the way Joe Milton throws the ball. I like what they do with the receivers. I want to look at Tennessee and, and Tennessee said, hey, we would love to have you here. They love his speed. They love his size. You had a chance to visit with him. He's legit in his height. It's not a it's not a fraud deal, right? I mean, he's a 6'4 yeah. guy, and we know Josh Heupel loves bigger, taller receivers. And I think that they've got a guy that they feel like it's versatile playing uh, inside or outside in this offense. Tennessee now has seven commits via the transfer portal, 10 outgoing with Linebacker Jawan Mitchell on Monday as well. Tennessee did go out and get BYU linebacker Keelan Peely earlier in the process, so that is kind of swapping a one for one deal. Yeah, no doubt about that. And 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 I don't want to I don't want to you know not talk about the, the defensive lineman they got today as well. I I, w I was talking about Thornton and just kind of glossed over him. But um, <laughs> when, when you talk about you know with Rodney Garner again development, that's something that jumped out. That's the reason why. Uh, he, he's looking. He looked at Tennessee, and that's the reason why he he ended up coming to Tennessee. Uh, a lot of upside there. I think you got to think about what he's been through in the Arizona State program, looking for stability, looking for development, looking for a consistent message. You know he's going to get that uh, from Rodney Garner, Eric. Um, overall, big picture for Tennessee, are they done? You know, uh, is, is there more movement to take place? Quite possibly there is. We know the window closes the end of this week, so we'll see what happens in the next couple of days with, with Tennessee. Could more guys be going out? Could more guys be coming in? I don't think it's going to be a big fury or flurry of things here down the stretch, but it wouldn't be surprising if Tennessee's not done even with getting three today. So three players commit to the University of Tennessee on a Monday. Pretty good via the transfer portal. We'll see what's in store for the rest of the week, and we'll track it all at VolQuest.com. For Brent Hubs, I'm Eric Kane. Stay up to date. Tennessee and the transfer portal and everything Tennessee Vol News at VolQuest.com.